Well, I think Bianca Belair uh, keeps shouting out, but um, I'm coming back from my throne real quick. Welcome to Venturing Bell. this is DS, and today I saw really interesting news on Charlotte Flair, the queen. I am missing her a little bit. She's been gone and I feel like I miss Charlotte Flair. But there was very interesting news about Charlotte Flair. She recently just did an interview that kind of teased to what she wants to do when she returns. She was just on WWE's Most Extreme Moments Countdown on Fox. And she talked about who she wants to face when she returns and she said Bianca Belair. And I'm sure you know you've been watching uh, a lot of these up and coming superstars. We've seen new women uh, on the scene. Anybody that maybe uh, has caught your eye? <laughs> well, I think Bianca Belair uh, keeps shouting out, but um, I'm coming back from my throne real quick. Yes, absolutely. She's looking at Bianca Belair and her Raw Women's Championship, and she wants to take her throne back. And I'm like, yeah, I want that. Do you guys want that? I saw Twitter losing their mind when people are like, oh, this means that WrestleMania 39 might be Bianca Belair versus Charlotte Flair. I want to see that. And it's really funny because Charlotte Flair, yes, I think she definitely wants that match with Bianca Belair. And they had a Raw match, which was absolutely amazing. So I want to see a full feud out of it. And also, Bianca Belair, the EST herself said that she's interested in having a match with Charlotte Flair. So right after her victory from Becky Lynch at WrestleMania, she said this on her Instagram, three down, one to go, and she said this on the interview would ring the bell. Now, you posted three down, one to go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Are you ready to be the horse butcher or what? Listen, I'm ready. I want to be the, you know, I feel like I'm at the forefront of a new generation of, a generation of women's wrestling. Um, and, and the four horse women have done amazing things. They have paved the way. They have broken so many barriers. You know, I'm not saying that they have to go anywhere. It's just like move aside a little bit because I'm coming through and I've taken, I've pinned Bailey. I pinned Sasha, I just pinned Becky Lynch, so now I'm, I'm looking forward to going after Charlotte and, and conquering Sean Charlotte. That said, this means Bianca Belair needs to be champion until WrestleMania. I don't want her to keep the championship until then because I'm already hearing tons of uh, complaints about how Bianca's run has been kind of boring. We are actually very spoiled from Becky Lynch's reign where she had different opponents every other month and she was able to tell different stories for each opponent, which I mad respect to Becky Lynch. Bianca Belair, unfortunately, she's stuck in this damage control storyline, which is like no shade to damage control, but WWE just doesn't know how to build like stable storyline. The three women stable storylines are freaking terrible and Alexa Bliss and Asuka who could all be Bianca's huge huge feuds are just acting like her best friends just being goofy so I'm just kind of like I, I, have, I have major issues with it I don't think it's Bianca's fault but unfortunately her reign hasn't been the best. But anyway I really think Charlotte Flair versus Bianca Belair will be a great feud because especially with how many times that Charlotte Flair has become champions we're all scared that she's going to defeat Bianca Belair you know. Really Bianca Belair has only one horsewoman to prove that she is the next era. She's opening the next era after four horsewomen. It already kind of feels like it, to be honest, because there are so many newer people now on main roster. But I think this will be a really iconic match. Kind of like how Shara Flair defeated Nikki Bella and kind of opened a new era like that. I think Bianca Belair defeating Shara Flair and defeating all horsewomen will be kind of a milestone moment for the women's division. So that's that's really interesting. I really want to see a WrestleMania 39 match, Bianca Belair versus Shara Flair. I think it could be main event. It's gonna be really great. It's gonna be really great. That said, Andrade, who is Charlotte Flair's husband now, also did an interview just today, talked about how Ashley, who is Charlotte Flair, has time off due to personal reasons, and she will specify them in future interviews. So we all know that Charlotte Flair has been taking time off since May, which is backlash. After that crazy match with Ronda Rousey, where they're shouting like, bitch, bitch. But she was like storyline injured from that. Me and everyone else thought she was just taking time off for the wedding and honeymoon and just, you know, just personal time, especially after being so overexposed, taking so many titles. She's going for that 16 title and we're not stopping her. But I think it's great that she took her time off. I'm missing her. So I'm ready for the queen to come back. But I'm also really interested about this personal reasons, especially given that Andrade said Charlotte will be willing to talk about it. So it could be, it could be interesting. Um, what do you think about Bianca Belair versus Charlotte Flair for WrestleMania 39, potentially. Honestly, I'd be fine as long as Charlotte Flair is not winning Royal Rumble. <laughs> I would not like that, sorry. I would not like that. The sound of Bianca Belair versus Charlotte Flair for WrestleMania, that sounds really juicy. So I'm here for it. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. And if you wanna follow me on social media, you can find me at DSShin on Instagram and RingTheBellDS on Twitter. And I'll be doing more of these frequent short videos throughout the week, seeing how it works. So let me know what you think about that too. All right, bye.